Hi, welcome back to LaTeX. Today we're gonna to look at the Elsevier article or the Elsevier article format. Let's go ahead and get started and uh, see where we can go from here. So let's say you've got Tech Studio opened up here and we're gonna look at document class and we're gonna pull this off as a two column preprint, three pixels for Else article. That's the Elsevier or Elsevier article format. Now I got our standard options here. We're gonna use a package, graphics array, XURL, fancy verb, uh, verbatim, place ints, and hyperref. We have to use the verbatim and the fancy verb because verbatim can, uh, contains comment and uh, fancy verb does not contain comment. So we can't, can't use the comment command just with the, uh, the fancy verb package. So getting on down into the options here, I'm gonna take out this comment now, so now we're, we've got the video going. I'll grab all this and I'm gonna shift that back over, and take out that comment there. And what we're gonna look at is, first of all, we have our journal. That's where we want to uh, publish this. Now, if you put preprint here at top, then over here, when you produce this, it will say is a preprint submitted to the journal for publication. Kind of nice, huh? Um, so if we don't put the preprint in there, we can take that out and say that's it um, and then over here we have the begin document which is strange that we're not doing all this in the preamble right this is not in the preamble here we're gonna go ahead and begin front matter now in the front matter we've got the article title the author our begin abstract right there the whatever the abstract text is and we have some keywords here so we have begin keyword you know just do that like that and uh, some keywords and then we separate the keywords there and that's it right so if I include the ipsum package which I might as well lipsum and that way I can go put some text in here so you can see what it looks like lipsum and we're gonna do uh, one paragraph on this one like that click We'll run that and see where we're at. There we go. So over here, now we've got our abstract, we have our article title, who we are, and we can start the, uh, and over here we've got this preprint submitted. I'm gonna have to run that again. Um, we can start running this and looking at the actual document itself uh, for how it's gonna be composed. So from the front matter, we're gonna go ahead and forget the bibliography style. We don't have references in there yet. And we're gonna go ahead and start with our, our section. So we'll start with a section and we'll just do the introduction. And a section, we'll do a discussion. We're, we're, this is gonna be a very short, a very short research paper. <laughs> we introduce it and then we discuss it and that's it. Um, which you know what, some of those research papers out there are just about that. Uh, so we got our introduction, we have our discussion there. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna throw a lip sum in there uh, just to give us a paragraph, just so we can kind of see what it looks like with the uh, with those two fields and get an idea of what it looks like. So there you got the introduction, we have a discussion. You can see this does have the two columns going on there. There are a couple of different ways to do this too. Uh, if you notice the, the front matter, I've got the front matter inside the document there and do we want the front matter inside the document? Well, so if we take that out, we take that out and we put it over here outside of beginning the document and we hit this right here, what, what happens to our document there? It is, you know, it, it says, oh, we did not end, did we? Yeah, we did. Uh, so we got the begin and we have the end and we have the begin document, end document, and it says, hey, what is going on? Uh, there are all kinds of problems there. So we're gonna go back and just put that back where it was and just give you an example there of, of kind of what will happen if you put things in the wrong place. <clears throat> Not that this is all in the right place, right? But this looks, it looks pretty correct right now. So we've got the article title, we got uh, your name on there, we have the date down here. Um, everything looks really nice. We have the introduction and our discussion. So that is it on the else article. Um, if you did want to put references in here, then it would organize your references according to Elsevier's or Elsevier's article format requirements. So it will do that. It will put the references in the right order. It will number them correctly and uh, it will pull everything in for you. So 
Uh, it's a great format to use. It's very easy to use. And uh, it allows us to create very professional looking documents very quickly so that you can uh, share this with your, your peers. They can look at your work and uh, kind of go through and, and give you an opinion on, on what they think. Now, given when you do things like this, sometimes you have to take your information out of there. So you will have to remove your name uh, from the article itself if it's going out for peer review and that sort of thing. But um, that's all stuff that can be done. Now, if you do want some more options in there, Elsevier or Elsevier uh, does give you the options for what they're looking for from their website. You can also go into uh, probably uh, perplexity.ai and just ask what are the different options with the ELSE article format. Hope this helped and I look forward to talking to you in the near future.